Hello everyone, my name is Vikas and in this session we will talk about the config tx.yml file. So this is a part 2 of the current session and in the part 1 we already discussed about this is uh, the blog uh, post for that one. So where we have discussed about uh, the content of the YAML file, what kind of uh, structure we see. So mainly we have discussed about the organization section, order section, then applications, capabilities and profile section. So this was the part one and the part two will move to the hands on as we have uh, discussed in the part one. So the part two will show you that how you can use this uh, config tx.yml file uh, to generate the genesis block and to generate the channel uh, which you required and then how you can create the configuration for the anchor peer for each organization. So mainly there are three steps involved here. So we'll show you the commands for that one and we'll run that command and we'll show you that how it works. So uh, so first of all, before you go forward, you may need to understand about Genesis block and the channel. So Genesis block is the very first block in a blockchain and all the other blocks get appended to it. So basically, uh, whenever you start any network for a blockchain, the very first thing which you do before you start uh, uh, using that blockchain network is create a genesis block because that is the very first log which you will have in your blockchain and all the upcoming uh, blocks which will contain transaction will get appended to this genesis block only and then what is channel so channel is a new concept uh, which is there in hyperledger fabric which you might not see in the other blockchain frameworks so basically what it uh, allows to have a private communication between the organizations so I, I have tried to put one example here. So where we have four organizations. Uh, so we, you, you can create as many as channels, like you can create one channel for all four organizations where all four organizations will participate and do the transaction and view the transactions. And then you can create a separate channel between two separate organizations and three or, or, or uh, based on a requirement. So, that is the channel concept which we have in the hyperledger fabric. So now let's jump to the commands which you have to run to uh, create uh, these three steps basically. But before you jump to this one, you may have this question that okay, what command I need to run? So the command uh, which you need to run for this one is config ts gen. So if you want to read about in the details, so this is a link which you can go here. So this is the Hyperledger Fabric documentation where you can just go and read about this uh, command in the detail. So we'll use this command in this uh, session to show you that how you can create a Genesis block and the channel and the anchor peer configuration. So now let's jump to that one. And uh, so the prerequisite for this session is that you should be aware about the config tx.yml file and if you're not aware I recommend you to go to the previous lesson uh, where we have explained about that file because we will use that file only in this session and create the genesis broke and the other artifacts which we needed. So as you can see this is a command which we have run so you will run this command config tx gen and you will use a profile if you remember in the config tx.yml file we have created a profile let me show you quickly so if you go in the end of this one, we have created two profile, one for Genesis blog, one for channel. So this is the name of the Genesis uh, profile, basically two orgs, order Genesis. So that contain the order information, that contain the organization information, which we have. So that is the profile we will use to create a Genesis blog using this config tx gen command. So this is the syntax of this command, config tx gen, uh, from profile then the name of the profile then where you want to store this genesis block so this is command which we'll run just now and we'll show you that how you can create the genesis block so now let me open my uh, vm viewer and let me log in here so first of all i open a terminal here and let me log in with a sudo user I will enter my password. Now I will go to my home directory. Now as you can see in my home directory I will have a fabric sample. So I will go to my fabric sample. 
then under this one I will have a bin folder so all the command which we are discussing right now is there under a bin folder you can just go and check it there if you just see this config uh, txgen is lying under the bin folder so you will run this command and you will create a genesis blue so now let's run this command so we'll run this way config txgen profile name is two oaks let me check it again what name we were using before two oaks order genesis okay now then we'll put output that is the output block so now I want to have this one in my first node. Well, you can choose a folder basically here. I will choose channel artifacts. Then I will say genesis dot block. You correct the spelling here. Genesis. Okay. So this is how I'm going to create. So this is a command which I run here. Config txt profile is this the profile which we have defined in that file and then my output directory is this one okay so now let's click on enter here so here something saying that config.yml file is not there okay so now if you run this command you will get this error so you can see here make sure that the fabric config path is set in a config yaml file or you can do one more thing let me show you in case you want to do this step extra step because some somewhere you have to refer this config file right it is not being referred so you can sh uh, set this path here uh, uh, which contain this one okay or you can just go here in this directory and then you can go under this one first network now under network you will have this config.yml file now you can run the script from here as well okay so this is up to you from where you want to run then you can say config gen profile to orgs order genesis then output block uh, let me give some name here so this will be get created under the channel artifacts and genesis dot block so you can see here once I run this command it will create a genesis block for you so now you can go and check under that uh, channel folder if you click on this one you will see this genesis block got created so this is how you can run this command and create a genesis block right so this is the very first step which you can do this is how you can run this command so either you can set that fabric uh, yaml file path or you can go to this first network and you can just run this one so then your command path will change a bit okay now next thing is how to create a channel basically so channel again we have this command which you can use uh, config tx chain profile is to oak channel so again this profile is defined in this uh, yaml file so you can see here so this is my channel which contain two organizations and this is the capabilities which we have mentioned so we'll use this profile here and create a channel basically so let's see what command you have to run for that one so the command is this one uh, uh, hyphen profile to oak channel then the output directory where it will get created the file will get created the channel id so you can just use any channel id this will be a channel name basically okay so this is the command which we'll use now to create your channel file so let's go ahead and just go there same way and let me go back to the other folder now i will take this command same command uh, now my profile will get changed to oak channel let me double check the name is yes, to oak channel that output create channel txt 
and this is my directory output create channel tx now it will be again we have to mention the path here so I can mention here two oaks channel dot tx then I will mention the channel ID channel ID will be like sample channel click enter here so you can see this one this has created a channel so again you can go to the, your channel directory and extract this one so you can see this one this two oak channel file get created so this is how the channel file can can be created by default uh, by using this command so now let me go back to the main folder now the last thing is that you have to create the anchor peer the configuration for anchor peer for each organization right so for that one this is a command which we have but before we go to this one so this uh, this is lying in which folder let's check that one so if you just go here in the organization section we have this defined we have organization defined we have name defined uh, basically we have id defined then we have anchor peer defined now we want to create the configuration for this anchor peer okay so for that one you have to run this command which is this one uh, profile is again channel profile you will use now the command will change the uh, hash output anchor peers update then the location where you want to create this file then the channel id and then the organization name so let's go ahead and run this command let me go back here i will take the same command and make some changes so profile will change let me double check the name here output anchor peers update you will create here uh, let me check what should I be the name here it is org1 msp anchor.tx then you will mention channel id it is same sample channel then as org it should be your org1 msp so click on this one so this will create the configuration again you can go and check this one in the channel artifacts file you can just go and see so this has created the anchor peer configuration for the organization one so this way uh, if you have two organization you can run this command two time for each organization if you have three or four based upon your organization you can run this command so this is how you can create the genesis block this is how you can create the channel and this is how you can create the configuration for the anchor peer within the organization so this is how this config txt command can be used for the config txt.yml file i'm hopeful that you like this video and this is helpful for you and thanks for watching